Hello friends, how are we all today? I have not spoken to you in absolutely ages. I have 101 things to catch up on. I was trying to make a list before I started this video of everything I need to record because I was behind on week three for last month, week four for last month. Now I've been paid. I need to do a check-in because we're at the nine month mark of cash stuffing. So we need to see how we're doing. Really nervous for that one. I need to do an unstuffing cash condensing oh my god there's just there's so much going on so I've made my job a little bit easier what I've done is just before this I've just run through my week three and week four envelopes and I've just stuffed them where they needed to go quickly just to save myself a little bit of hassle so what we're starting off with is going to be the unstuffing of February's money and then we can do a check-in so hopefully everything flows well because we've a lot of ground to cover. I hope you're all doing well. Sorry for my absence. Life is lifing. I know I keep saying that, but it's not stopping. <laughs> uh, work has just been absolutely mental. Normally there's two of us on my team, but the other person on my team is off sick at the minute on like long-term sick leave as of like January. So I am the only person on the team and I'm feeling it. And yeah, I'm just not getting time for anything and then I have my exam I think that went well I will let you know results are out midnight on the 15th of April so I will find out then how that went this is a repeat of last year so let's pray also I got my nails done as if you couldn't tell I was going to go green for St. Patrick's Day so we've got a green chrome and they're a little bit speckly and stuff which is nice matches my ring and it's green so you know I'm happy because it's my favorite color so right where will we start? I, I have this here, but I'll move it off to the side for just a sec while we unstuff and reallocate things and then we can see how we're doing. So let's go into our savings challenge binder. What we are unstuffing is fortune. And, oof. and then also this is probably going to be a bit of a low month because I think last month when I was on stuffing I did my week one stuffing and then unstuffed which means there's only three weeks in here because week one of this month went into the last month's thing and then everyone else is oh that's a good thing I've cleaned that I know I said I'm coming back with my side hustle cash stuffing again it's just getting the time to actually sit down and do it I've bought a load new wax colors so it's going to be great crack once I get there and my side hustle has started. I have money just building up in an account that needs to be put into this challenge. But by the time I actually get around to it, I'm going to have a fifth of the challenge done, which will be, I mean, A1. That's great. But God, whoever thought you'd be too busy to play with money. I'm still spending it. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I just keep dipping into the envelopes, which isn't great. But... I'm trying to remember that there's only so many hours in a day and I can't do absolutely everything and some things have to, something has to get either, not dropped, I don't want to drop car stuffing, but you have to deprioritize something. Not everything can be a priority, unfortunately, and as much as I love doing this and it makes me sad when I'm not, it's, it's just very difficult to find the time right now. How are you guys? Are you guys busy? Is the start of the year a busy time for you? Or is it a good time? I don't know. Okay, wow. Struggle. Okay, so what we are about to put into our sinking funds for savings for February is 51, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, Three, okay, not too bad. So we have 300 euro and this is just going, I don't really need to split this because it's all just going to go into Tenerife. So our Tenerife binder, you can see how chunky this is. It's actually warping my binder. So it's holiday spending this is going into. I don't have a tracker for it. Kind of hoping to get to the 2000 mark by the time we get to June. Also, June can't come bloody quick enough. I need a holiday. Oof, there we go. So what we now have in our Tenerife spending money is 51, 52, 
50, 70, 90, 310, 330, 50, 70, 90, 410, 30, 50, 70, 90, 510, 30, 50, 70, 90, 610, 630, 650, 670, 80, 98. I think that's right, 8. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 65. So eight, that was either 765 or 865. It's all right, because we're gonna have to count it again for the cash condensing. So that is not a problem. Okay, so let us look at this. Jeez, I can't, it's actually an abomination. It's not a bad thing. It's just, I can't wait to condense it. Okay, so we shall get our little tracker back out just make sure you guys can see that sorry about the lighting the lighting outside is really weird and I have all my lights on but it doesn't actually to be fair one of them's pointing at me that's not really all that helpful yet here we are so we'll go into wallet reserves first so spending still has zero surprise surprise so that's a zero zero difference I don't have a calculator here I'm being very brave today Diesel should still have 80 because I haven't put anything in the car because um, my fiance had his second driving test and unfortunately he didn't pass it this time but he has been doing all of the driving for the two of us so he can get lots of practice so as a result I really have not been using my car which is saving me a bit of money so that's grand. Fun has 15 euro in it dear god that's not great oh wait hold on dates is first. So dates is 50, 60, 70, 80, 91. So that's still 100. I don't cash condense in here. I like to keep it in cash. I might actually put this here and make my life a little bit easier. So that's still 100. This is 15, which means we've lost 45. Fun tends to be the place that gets hit. If I go on a bit of a mad one, I'll go into my fun money and take it out. Coffee has 10. Oh yeah, food always has zero, so that's fine. Coffee has 10, which means we lost 10. Cinema, I went to see Dune 2 last week. Oh my dear God. The, the first thing I said to my fiance after the movie was, how are you ever supposed to enjoy another movie again? It is sensory bliss. The visuals, incredible. The music, incredible. Everything about it, I just love the only complaints that I do have. Well, it's really only one left now because my first, my only complaint was that there's just something about Timothy Chalamet that just doesn't sit well with me. I don't really know why. I have absolutely no reason to feel like that. However, in this movie, his, not his character, but his acting made me forget he was Timothy Chalamet and that something about him doesn't sit right with me. Um, and I don't have a problem with Zendaya except for the fact that I don't, feel like no matter what she does it's just always very apparent that it's you're watching Zendaya do you know what I mean it's not you don't kind of get immersed in her character she's just still Zendaya I don't know if that makes sense but that's my um my two cents on it but if you haven't watched Dune I would highly suggest it I love anything by the director Denis Villeneuve um he's just just an absolute star. So would suggest going to watch it if you are into that sort of thing. I think it's the, like the Star Wars of this generation. <laughs> I just really loved it and I can't wait to watch it again. And I'm not somebody who rushes to watch a movie a second time. So if that tells you anything. So also watch the first one before you go watch the second one because they, they literally run one right into the next. So we watched it the night before and then went to the cinema to see it and yeah it was just I'll stop raving now it was amazing 50 70 80 90 in buffer so we're about to hit 100 in buffer which is super exciting so this is 100 which means we got plus 40 and can I do this in my head we'll see 100 200 260 270 350 
let's say yes. So we're down 15, which is quite impressive considering I absolutely flushed out my fun money. So, well, also if I counted correctly, because that's a risk. And then in my binder, I'm doing a bit of a number on hair and beauty. Just had to stock up on a load of stuff. Still probably have a few things to stock up on. So hair and beauty is 50, 70, 90, 100, and 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So it's 145, meaning we lost what? 10, 55, 65. Gone. Minus 65. Kombucha has. 10, 20, 30, 40, 55. 55. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 66 euro in kombucha. 66, which is plus 55. Health is 10, 20, 30, 40, 55. So we lost 50. Okay. I think I'm going to need to go get a calculator in a minute because this is going to get intense very quickly. Hobbies is still zero. Clothing is zero. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm not too worried about the difference thing. Minus 60. My handwriting is horrific. Uh, going out, what do we have in here? It is 20, 40, 5, 55. Icky. So it's 55, which means we lost 25. And we can go to our next page, which is 0, 0. Zero, zero. I never have anything in laser or pedicures. So total is, yes, it's time for a calculator. Okay, apologies about the state of this one, but this is my accounting calculator and it's just gonna have to make do because I can't find my other one. So starting from hair and beauty, we have one, four, five, plus, one, four, five, plus 66, plus 55, plus 55. There's 321 in total in this binder. Can you guys hear the ice cream truck? So, 466 minus 321. The ice cream truck comes every day <laughs> in my estate. I don't know if there's some kids in this estate that always, always buy ice creams or something, but yeah, every day for the last maybe two weeks or so around this time. Uh, the ice cream person. I don't know if it's a man or a woman. I don't go chasing it. Actually, here's the thing. I would love to go out and get an ice cream from the ice cream truck, but I don't understand the the social expectations of it. So it gives me a lot of anxiety. I know this is ridiculous, but do I chase the van? Uh, this is a serious question. Okay, so do, do not laugh at me. Are you supposed to chase the van? Or do you go outside your house and stand outside your house? So I live in a cul-de-sac, so he has to come back out by my house. Do I flag him down like a taxi? I don't I don't know how, how the ice cream van works. And I'm scared to go out and make a fool of myself chasing a van or standing there trying to flag him down like a taxi. So if anybody could give me any sort of suggestion, that would be great because I do enjoy ice cream and I would like to go out and get one, but... It's scary. So that's this binder done. And then our exciting one is in here. So this is where we will start doing some unstuffing. So Cartax now has 100, 150, 170, 80, 90, 2 to 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. So there's 270 in here. 150 is already there, which means there's 120 in my hand. So I'm just going to write 120 over here because that's what's going back to the bank. We have 270. So we went up 120. 
and now we can Oof, okay we're gonna get messy quickly here so pop you there scoot you down for a sec so we want to do 270 all together so 20 keep a 50 I do have a 200 so let's go with 200 and these can oh no okay so oh wait no I need the 50 so that's 270 in cartax now and then I'm not going to count car insurance because it's always the same and there's 150 in here too so that means I can put that there we have another 120 here so plus 120 makes this one to 70 and we can do this and there we go so that is one two fifty seventy in car insurance beautiful house has zero as per usual christmas has 20, 40, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 100. Oh my God. Okay. That is great. Probably not where I want to be at this point in the year, but it's better than a bang of a stick. So it's plus 60. I'm not going to unstuff Christmas. I don't know why. I need to fix that envelope as well. Birthdays has one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10 in coins, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, so I have 35 for birthdays. So that is 35, which means it's plus 30. I'm not going to unstuff this one either. Technology might unstuff. So there's 150, 200, 220, 35, 45. So that's two, did I say 245? One, two, 230, 545, 245. So that is plus 20, plus 65, 165. Sounds right to me. And we will unstuff this one. I'm just gonna throw all the cash there for a second to save ourselves from getting too confused. Uh, so, if I have 180 in my hands already, no, sorry, 160, what am I talking about? That's 50, 75, 85, so it's 85 euro for tech. That is grand. Oh, wait, no. Ah, so I need 85. Doot, 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 doot. Or wait, it's just 245 altogether. So is there an easier way? I'm going to run out of these way too quick, so let's go. Two. Twenty. Forty. Five. And throw back the ten. So is that 150, 200, 20, 45. Perfect. Future hoping we're going to keep in cash. However, what is in here? is 55, 65, 70. Yes, yes. 70, so we're plus 15. We have a dinner for our anniversary, three year anniversary coming up in April. And we have decided to go to an Indian restaurant that I went to with work. So my fiance has never been, but I have. But I want to go back because when I'm with my fiance, it's a lot, le well, obviously it's a lot less pressure um, than being on a work dinner, but also I can eat a lot more food. I can eat, I I'm not worrying about my image as much when I'm with my fiance. So I'm really excited to go back and just eat whatever I want. And also when I'm with work, they, the, the company is paying for it. So obviously, yeah, there's limits. But when I go myself, I, I don't have to worry about limits. So Florida had 775 last time we looked in here we are now 
at, oh God, okay. 500, 700, 758, 820, 40, 60, 80, 9, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 1,000, was that 1,000 or was it 900? I'll, I'll pr probably know in a second. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 2, 205, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 300, 305, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 1, 3, 60, I think. I'll write that down provisionally. 1, 3, 60. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go multiply out what's on my tracker because that should tell me if I'm right or not. So these pineapples are 80 each. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 17 times 80. 1, 3, 60. Nice one. Okay. So now the more complicated part is 13, 60. Let's take out what's already in the bank. And there's a five there. So thirteen sixty take away five five seven fifty seventy five. So minus seven seven five means there's five eighty five here that needs to go back to the bank. So we'll write that down over here so I don't forget five eight. Five. That's also the figure here. Very good, very good. Apologies for the mess. We will get there eventually. So that is... Oh, damn it. What have I done? Okay, so I now need this to be 1360. Do I have a 1000 floating around? I don't believe I do. There's a five. So there's five. Okay, okay. So do we have enough fifties? Do do do. So that's one, two, three, fifty, and a ten. Should have a sorted, so it's five, one, one thousand, two hundred, fifty, three hundred, three fifty, three sixty. Perfect. And then in holiday spending, we shall count this one again. So it's fifty, one, fifty, two, two fifty, two seventy, two ninety, three ten. 30, Five. So 765. 765. So that's plus 765 in here. And we can put all this back in the bank. Do I have space to pop this in for a second? Right. Do I have what I need for this? No. Right. Let me just check if I can obtain more cards. Okay, I got a few more. I swapped these out in my investment binder. So what did I say? 765. 
So we can do five. Seven. We don't have a 50. That's okay. We can do 50. Whoopa. 60 and five. Okay. Let's see how we go there. 50. Whoop, whoop. Oh my god, okay. So, 500, 600, 700, 720, 740, 750, 760, 765. Okay. So that is this one done. So we can add this up. So we are starting from here. Which is 270 plus 270 plus 100 plus 35 plus 245 plus 70 plus 1360. Oops. 1360 plus 765 makes this binder 3115. 3115 minus. 2465 gives us 650. Okay, so then into our challenges. So, knockout nine only has 20, 30, 40, 50, no, what? <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 26 in here right now. Sorry if you can't see this. 26, which is minus a 10. Oh, I won't do that for a second because I'm going to... The mess underneath this. Okay, infinity. What do you have now? This has a stack of coins. So infinity currently has 50, 70, 90, 110, 2, 4, 6. 8, 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 2, 4, 6, 8. Okay, I reckon there's about 30 euro in there, so we're going to give it a little estimate. I think there is about 140 in there, which is minus 100. Fortune last time, well, this is a new one, um, so I didn't have this last time I did my condensing, but it's empty because we just unstuffed it. So is wild card. Piggy has 80, which means we've added 30. Jars has, oops. oh, 100 envelope we can, oh, I've already put in that zero, so that's fine. Jars has 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40 euro. So that's gone up a tenner. Saveopoly has another stack of coins. So that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 21, 22, 23, plus 5 is 28, we shall say. I know it might not be exact, but I have no interest in counting coins right now. So that's plus 5. It's close enough. And then snakes has 0. And my 50 cent challenge should have a fiver in there because I haven't touched it. So what is my total in this binder? I do expect a bit of a loss this month or this cash. What do we call this? That's a cash condensing. This is a count up or I cannot remember what we call this. <laughs> But I do expect a loss because last time we were saving for the ensuite, that came out of the 100 envelope. So that 4,649 that was there last time, that's gone now. So I do expect a loss. Unfortunately, however, I am getting a new ensuite. It's in the process. So not too much to complain about. So we have 26 in knockout nine. Oops, 26 plus... 140 plus 80 plus 40 plus 28 
plus five is three nineteen. That's a that's a bit of a change from five zero three three is minus four seven one four. Okay, so let us see grand total what we have ended up with. Okay, we're starting here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So our first total is the three six five plus three two one plus ninety five for my wedding binder. I haven't counted that up because it's not on the priority list right now. So, but I've kept it in here so I don't throw my figures off more than necessary. 3115 plus 319 equals 4215. And if we take that away from our 8439 that we had last time, we are down 4 two two four so that's okay i expected it it's still not nice to see to be fair but <laughs> there is a reason for it so that is more than okay because that money hasn't just been spent or lost it has gone into a new ensuite so i'm all right with that so that is then oh actually you know what i'll just do before i close this is just check the figures of what i'm unstuffing so one 20 plus 120 plus 85 plus 585 plus 765 is 1675 going back to the bank so I'll just count this and make sure that that also adds up to 1675. I shall just do a little bit of moving around here first so So, 51, 52, 53, 50. So let's take away 350. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82. 20, 40, 60, 83. 20, 40, 60, 84. 20, 40, 60, 85. 20, 40, 60, 86. 20, 40, so 640. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 91. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 92. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 93. 10, 20, 30, so it's 330 in this one. So come on fives. So we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 1, 10, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 2, 
205, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 3, 305, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. So that's perfect. That means we have balanced out. So there's 16.75 here to go back to the bank. Everything is cash condensed and unstuffed as much as we want it to be. And yeah, I think that is everything for this one. So it's time to get into the rest of the other things that I have to do to catch up. But I hope you enjoyed. Um, I think this is a good video to show that the balance may not always go up, even if you are saving intensively. Would I say I'm saving intensively? Probably not. But if you are saving intensively and sometimes the figures go down, do not be demoralized or disappointed. That is what we save for. We save so that we have the money to do the things we want to do. So we need to get used to practicing actually spending the money when it's there for what we intended it for. So that's Juliana's life lesson for the day. The more you know. So I will see you in the next one, guys. I hope you all keep well and thank you so much for watching. Bye.